Welcome to the enchanting world of butterflies, where beauty meets transformation. Today, we'll take a closer look at these delicate creatures, exploring their fascinating life cycles, feeding mechanisms, defense strategies, and the remarkable butterfly farming practices around the globe. Adjacent to Mombasa's historical treasure trove, Fort Jesus, we have the Mombasa Butterfly House. I'm sure you've already figured out that I will be your tour guide for this episode. So buckle up and let's fly. Every butterfly begins its journey as a tiny egg, evolving through various stages before emerging as the elegant creature we admire. Witnessing this metamorphosis is a testament to the wonders of nature. We are taking a look at the nest. This is where the butterflies hatch. And yeah, so we can be touching on a few um, hoves that have already hatched. Here at the Mombasa Butterfly House, there's an open display of butterfly nesting pods for the pupa right before they hatch into this nature beauty. The pods are made of a silk covering spun by the larvae of an insect for protection. In an effort to safeguard their pods, butterflies strategically position them on the undersides of leaves, providing a natural concealment from potential predators and shielding them from the harsh rays of sunlight. The Mombasa Butterfly House is meticulously crafted to offer a conducive environment catering not only to the preservation of these natural beauties but also to the entire life cycle, nurturing them from larvae to full-grown adult butterflies. The presence of trees and serene surroundings coupled with the nearby Indian Ocean coast fosters an ideal atmosphere for butterfly metamorphosis and breeding in this location. Here in this vibrant community, pods are sourced from skilled local farmers, particularly from regions like Arabuko Sokoke and Kwale. These farmers are experts in butterfly farming, primarily focusing on exports. By doing so, they not only ensure the quality of butterflies, but also actively support and uplift local livelihoods. Now I know you're wondering why we have not come across any butterflies, not even one. That is because the house is yet to purchase another set of nesting pods from farmers in areas from Erebuko, Sokoke and Kwale. Now what we're looking at here is a playhouse for the butterflies of what would have been should it have been swamped with these vibrant, beautiful creatures. When it comes to self-defense, butterflies have evolved ingenious defense mechanisms. Some showcase vibrant colors and patterns to ward off predators, while others employ mimicry to resemble harmful species, ensuring their survival in a world full of challenges. Are you a considerable threat to these harmless, vibrant, yet free-spirited creatures of the air? Here we have the main sanctuary for the mature adult butterflies. It is covered with nets for protection from predators and prey, such as lizards, geckos, birds. Oops, that was me. <laughs> like I was saying, the area is covered with nets for protection, but normally, once the butterflies have hatched and they've grown into full adults, this would be the area where they would mostly stay. So you'd walk into this and have butterflies all over you, swirling around, flapping their beautiful wings. Amazing, right?
teachers, parents and interested learners. This is a place that you can love to be. You'd absolutely enjoy learning about butterflies. Kids can come over and play. There's fake caterpillars. There's amazing art at the nets that cover the roofing area. And this place is just amazing. Amazing. Feeding is a crucial aspect of a butterfly's life. Using their specialized proboscis, butterflies gracefully extract nectar from flowers, contributing to pollination and the creation of new life. Fun fact, wanna know what butterfly feeds on what? So apparently, the highly active butterflies feed on nectar from flowers, yet the dormant, the a bit lazy butterflies feed on rotten fruits. They feed on fruits that have already fallen from trees, due to probably human activities or other animals such as monkeys they wait for them to rot and then they can go feed on those fruits suck off the sap from those fruits using their proboscis and that is how you know the difference between the two butterflies through their feeding mechanisms in regions like arabuko sokoke and kwale in kenya butterfly farming has become a sustainable practice here Butterflies are carefully bred and nurtured for export purposes, supporting local economies and conservation efforts. Butterfly farming is not exclusive to Kenya. Across the globe, in various countries, these delicate insects are cultivated for their economic and ecological value, showcasing the importance of conservation and sustainable practices. In conclusion, Butterflies play a vital role in our ecosystem, contributing to pollination and serving as indicators of environmental health. Whether in the wild or on farms, these ethereal creatures remind us of the delicate balance that sustains our planet. I have been your host, Miss Clarity, and until next time, stay tuned and make sure to subscribe. I hope you enjoyed, and yay! I hope it's not too late to say Happy New Year. Stay safe. Stay woke and subscribe if this is your first time watching this. Please make sure you hit the thumbs up button, hit the bell icon, notification bell icon.